my journey through Pinterest. Welcome back to my journey through Pinterest. My name is Nicole. It is finally chilly here where I live. So that just means to me, it's time to bake, it's time to craft, it's time to get ready for the holidays. So today, I am jumping over to my homemade holiday board and I'm gonna bring to you um, something that I recently pinned, which is instead of a hot chocolate bomb, I'm going to do a hot chocolate cup with a candy cane stirrer built into the top. So, never done this before, not sure if it's gonna work, but join me as I try. All right, so we are gonna make our hot chocolate pops. Um, and the directions, the link will be included in this video, um, but they say to cut the little bathroom cups, little slit down the side. I'm assuming that is to make it easier to peel later. First. And then you take some scotch tape and you seal it back up so it doesn't leak out. Okay, now you have your cups that have been slit down that one side and taped. Now what we have to do is we have to fill the cups with chocolate and then swirl it around so it's not like a solid cup of chocolate, just to the outer shell. And then we're gonna let them set. Then we'll peel off the cup, fill it with hot chocolate, adorn it with some sprinkles and marshmallows, Stick a candy cane in the middle, put more chocolate on the top, and let it set. And there you go. So come join me. All right, now we're gonna let these set up before we move on to the next step. All right. I have unwrapped a couple of these, <laughs> but I'm so excited that it actually works. Look, it comes right off. Oh, there's a hole in that one. But you live, and you learn, and you figure it out. All right, so then you just pour in your hot chocolate mix. packets. The sun is bright, but it is cold outside. Just patched a hole with some melted chocolate. Alright. Next, just take the candy canes. because the chocolate could melt, start melting the cup. All right, so our hot chocolate bomb cups have set. Um, I will show you a picture of the um, what I thought was a really cool thing by piping out the chocolate and they just became a hot mess, but I'll include that because it was part of the process. But I have two that look pretty 
neat. Um, so I'm going to take one and put it in this cute little gift bag. And tie it with a little ribbon here, little twine. And I'm going to give that as a gift to someone today. Because like I said, it's pretty cold. So here we go. Cute little gift. These make amazing gifts. And now I'm gonna try this one to see if it works. So again, we have the melted chocolate cup filled with hot chocolate mix, topped with lots of yummy sprinkles with the candy cane stir stuck inside. So I have heated, <laughs> I have heated a cup of milk. Oh my goodness, you gotta come see this. It's all crackling. You see that? My candy cane stir just broke. I can smell the peppermint. Good thing I have enough. <laughs> How is it that on some of these videos they make it look so easy? I'm gonna have to go get myself a spoon. Hold on a second. All right, let's try that again. Let's take this little candy cane out. Oh, oh, but it's working. Oh, yummy. So the hot chocolate is now released. And the added melted chocolate on the outside is gonna make it extra creamy and delicious. So I'm just gonna stir it up. My candy cane was not even having it. I think it's partly for presentation, let's be honest. too much milk, but anyway. All right, here we go. I'm gonna taste it. Not bad. Oh, I just got a little bit of a candy cane. I think that this is adorable, and while it did not look like the video that I saw on Pinterest, it is delicious. Anyone would love the richness of this hot chocolate and it is an absolutely cute presentation. So I say try it, um, make a whole bunch up, pretty inexpensive to do. So there we go. Join me next time as I travel around my boards to find my next adventure. And it is holiday season, so we will have some fun things coming up. Take care. Ooh, that is good.